It's your meeting. Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. <laughs> oh, man. 50 Gs? How you figure that? 35 for the pound of meth you stole, and another 15 for my partner's pain and suffering. Pardon? <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that little bitch. So you must be daddy. Let me get this straight. <laughs> I steal your dope. Hmm? I beat the piss out of your mule boy. And then you walk in here and you bring me more men? <laughs> Woo, that's a brilliant plan, isn't it? Brilliant. You got one part of that wrong. This is not meth. It sold faster than ten dollar ass in TJ. Let's say you bring me another pound next week. Money up front. All right. Money up front. Gentlemen. Take it easy, Theo. I will feed you. I eat first. That's the deal. What? <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh! Yeah, greedy old bastard. Tell you, Eisenberg. Old people. You feed them, huh? You put them in a really nice crib in the country, and yet they gotta steal the food off your plate. You better eat every bite of that.
ってよ This back, right? Pretty big one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Schrader? You act like you never saw a severed human head on a tortoise before. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> hey, welcome to. You're going to give Badger Mayhew the best legal representation yeah. ever. But no deals with the DEA. All right, Badger will not identify anyone to anybody. If he does, you're dead. Why don't you just kill Badger? I mean, follow me, guys, but uh, mosquitoes buzzing around you, bite you on the ass, you don't go gunning for the mosquitoes. Attorney, you go, go grab a fly swatter, I mean, so to speak. I mean, all due respect, do I have to spell this out for you? We're not killing Badger, yo! Then you got real problems, okay? Because the DEA is going to come down on your boy like a proverbial ton of bricks. I mean, I, I don't think I'm going out on a limb here, but hey, he's not going to like prison. He's going to sing like Celine Dion, regardless of what you do to me. <coughs> Mr. Mayhew? Recognize your cough. Take that mask off, you know, get some air. Go on. Take it easy. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, I'm gonna stand up, all right? Because I got bad knees. So... That's better. Okay, now, now listen, the three of us are gonna work this out. Yeah? How? First things first, you're gonna put a dollar in my pocket, both of you. You want attorney-client privilege, don't you? So that everything you say is strictly between us. I mean it. Put a dollar in my pocket. Come on, make it official. Come on, do it. That's it, come on. Just a dollar. Go ahead. All right, now you, ski bum. Come on, give with the dollar. Go on. Be smart. What? Well, I got you five. I'll take a five. Come on already, come on. Cool. Okay, you're now both officially represented by Saul Goodman and Associates. Your secrets are safe with me under threat of disbarment. All right? Take the ski mask off. I feel like I'm talking to the weather underground here. Just do it. <coughs> okay, so if a prison shanking is completely off the table, and we're sure of that, no shanking! All right, all right. And the way I see it is, somebody's going to prison. 
It's just a matter of who. Jesse. 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 Wake up. Jesse. Wake up. Why, why are you doing this? Why are, are you even thinking this way? Is it to punish me? I am not punishing you all. This is I... punitive, is what this is. We are happily married. Oh. I am happily married. I am happy. We're just... I love you, Skylar. And I would do anything for you. Would you even consider? I mean, Jesus. You come in here and you wave these papers in my face when there's a, a whole other entire side to this thing. There's your side and there's my side and you haven't heard my side yet. You haven't heard any of it at all. You're a drug dealer. No, what, how, what? <sighs> yeah. How else could you possibly make that kind of money? <sighs> Marijuana. That Pinkman kid. No? Oh, my God, Walt. Cocaine? It's methamphetamine. But I, I'm, I'm a manufacturer. I'm not a dealer. Oh. Per se. I, it, it doesn't oh. mean... No, Skyler. Skyler, no. listen. No. There are a lot of angles to this, okay? It's complicated, all right? So please, let's, please, let's, let's just sit back down and we'll talk it through. I'm going to make you a deal, Walt. 
I won't tell Hank, and I won't tell your children, or anybody else. Nobody will hear it from me, but only if you grant me this divorce and stay out of our lives. Oh, Scott. I mean it. Now let me the hell out of here before I throw up. So, how was your day? Good. Good. Excellent. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I invited Lewis to stay for dinner tonight. You know, as a thank you for driving Walter Jr. to school for us. We've been kind of absent. But I tell you, Lewis really pitched in. Um, look, I just want to say that I, I feel good about our talk this morning, and I'm very eager to hear what you're thinking about, about what we talked about. Whenever you're ready, then, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Honesty is good, don't you think? Salad, okay? Okay. Really? No. Nobody likes salad, but it's good for you. Thanks, darling. Thank you. Let me understand this. You're turning down one and a half million dollars. I am not turning down the money. I am turning down you. You get it? I want. Nothing to do with you. Ever since I met you, everything I have ever cared about is gone. Ruined, turned to shit, dead ever since I hooked up with the great Heisenberg. I have never been more alone. I have nothing. No one! All right, it's all gone! Get it! No, 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 why? Why would you get it? What do you even care as long as you get what you want? Right? You don't give a shit about me. You said I was no good. I'm nothing. Why would you want me, huh? You said my math is inferior, right? Right? Hey, you said my cook was garbage. And screw you, man. Screw you. Your meth is good, Jesse. As good as mine.
can I help you? Um, take whatever you want. I have money. I got a lot of money. Um. You don't, you, you, you don't have to do this. Jesus, what was I thinking? Walt, please, let's both of us stop trying to justify this whole thing and admit you're in danger. Who are you talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. Do you know what would happen if I suddenly decided to stop going into work? A business big enough that it could be listed on the NASDAQ goes belly up, disappears. It ceases to exist without me. No, you clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. Well, what was the problem? Why'd you have to kill him? Watch the crosstalk, please. Maybe it's not the details that matter, right? How'd you feel about what you did, Jesse? I don't know. Who cares how you feel? What kind of a person kills a dog for no reason? Colleen. You put an ad in the paper, you drop him off at a show, and you don't just sit there and talk about killing a helpless, innocent Colleen. animal. We're not here to sit in judgment. Why not? Why not? Maybe, maybe she's right. You know, maybe I should have put it in the paper. Maybe I, I should have done something different. The thing is, if you just do stuff and nothing happens, what's it all mean? What's the point? Oh, right, this, this whole thing is about self-acceptance. Kicking the hell out of yourself doesn't give meaning to anything. So I should stop judging and accept to start. So no matter what I do, hooray for me because I'm a great guy. It's all good. No matter how many dogs I kill, I just what, do an inventory and accept. I mean, you back your truck over your own kid and you, like, accept? What a load of crap. Hey, Jesse, I know you're in pain. No, you, you know what? Why I'm here in the first place is to sell you meth. You're nothing to me but customers. I made you my bitch. You okay with that? Huh? You accept? No. About time.
Well, what did that phone call mean? Where is it? Where's the rest? The money, Skylar. Where is the rest? Skylar, where is the money? I gave it to Ted. What? You did what? Well, I'm... I had to. For us, for the family. I swear. You, Walt... You gave our money to Pennick. Walt, please, please just hear me out. Please. Ah! <laughs> Crippled little rata. What a reputation to leave behind. Is that how you want to be remembered? Last chance to look at me, actor. My partner tells me that your crew switched to a P2P cook because of our success. You dye your meth with food coloring to make it look like mine. You already ape my product at every turn. But now, you have the opportunity to sell it yourself. I need you to listen to me. 
We're not going to give up this deal to be your errand boys. Do you understand? For what? To watch a bunch of junkies get a better high? A better high means customers pay more. A higher purity means a greater yield. That's $130 million of profit that isn't being pissed away by some substandard cook. Now, you listen to me. You've got the greatest meth cook in America. No, the two greatest meth cooks in America right here. And with our skills, you'll earn more from that 35% than you ever would on your own. Yeah, so you say. Just wondering why we're so lucky. Why cut us in? Mike is retiring from our crew, so his share of the partnership is available if you can handle his end, distribution. And if you give him $5 million of the $15 million that you brought today, just think of it as a finder's fee for bringing us together. We have 40 pounds of product ready to ship. Ready to go. Are you ready? Who the hell are you? You know. You all know exactly who I am. Say my name. You what? I don't, I don't have a damn clue who the hell you are. Yeah, you do. I'm the cook. I'm the man who killed Gus Fring. Bullshit. Cartel got Fring. You sure? That's right. Now, say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. W.W., my star, my perfect silence. W.W., <laughs> I don't know who you figure that is, you know? Woodrow Wilson, Willy Wonka, Walter White. <laughs> you got me. Stop. Turn around. Place your fingers behind your head. Now walk backwards to me. Stop. Get on your knees.
you like my barrel photo, huh? Took it in the backyard by the barbecue grill. You know, where we used to cook out with the family. Coming here, thought the dirt might not match, but me, I bet your greedy ass would be so worked up about the prospect of losing your cash that you wouldn't catch it. Looks like I was right. He's clean. Yo, I remember this place. It's the very first place we cooked, like, ever. It is, isn't it? Hey, uh, let's say uh, you save us the busy work, Walt. Point out the spot where you buried your money. No? No matter. I'll get a search team out here. We'll find it. Agent Gomez, should we flip a coin for the honors? No way, man. It's all yours. Walter White, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you at the government's expense. Do you understand these rights as I have just recited them to you? Coward. Come on. Sorry, man. Just no scenario where this guy lives. No, 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 listen. I have money. I have money. It's buried out here. It's... It's $80 million. $80 million. So that's what got this party started, huh? But this money of yours won't do me much good in prison. You can go anywhere. You can do anything. Think about it. You can have any future that you want. Jack, 80 million. And all you've got to do is let him go. That's a hell of an offer. What do you think, Fed? Would you take that deal? It's Hank. His name is Hank. How about it, Hank? Should I let you go? My name is Asak Schrader. You can go fuck yourself. Hank, listen to me. You gotta tell him. You gotta tell him now that we can work this out. Please, please. What? You want me to beg? You're the smartest guy I ever met. And you're too stupid to see. He made up his mind 10 minutes ago. Do what you're gonna do. <laughs>